I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in the year 2000, three months after my father died from prostate cancer. I lost both my grandfathers to prostate cancer as well, but we never really had an in-depth discussion about prostate cancer within my family. I really didn't uh, have a good grasp. I didn't understand that I was at a very high risk for the disease. And, and literally, I didn't know anything about uh, what my treatment options would be. Prostate cancer has, has literally been a silent disease for many years. African-American men are diagnosed at a rate that is 78% higher than all other men in this country. In addition, we died a rate that's more than twice that of other men. I decided to found the Prostate Health Education Network in 2003. Uh, the mission of FIN is really to focus on the needs of high-risk men. We began a series of programs. We work with community organizations, we work with cancer centers, and most of all, we work with thousands of prostate cancer survivors across the country. We look at what type of issues are we facing? What type of issues do we need really to address from treatments to social determinants of health, clinical trials across the board to eliminate the prostate cancer racial disparity? We have an initiative we've been proud of that we launched a stage play called Daddy's Boys. Daddy's Boys really tells the story of a father who was diagnosed with prostate cancer he has three sons, and they're having to face prostate cancer together. With two of 14 cities, we are providing online episodes, and we expect to reach a million people with that this year. Knowledge about early detection is so critical. We provide tools for early detection, and we guide men through understanding what their risks are and what their treatment options are based upon the stage of their diagnosis. Another big area that we spend a lot of time on is clinical trials. A lot of people feel that black patients are not interested in clinical trials because of Tuskegee, but our surveys show a, a difference and that they are not asked to participate in trials. So we're working with, uh, with the patient community. We're working with organizations to really bring them together to increase the level of uh, African-American participation Cancer is a frightening disease, and it can be a very lonely journey. I'm proud that we're bringing the messages to black men across the country about a disease that's impacting us more than all other men. And I see the progress that we're making.